Here we have the Ursa strap and the newcomer, the Viviana strap. Now, I find the Viviana strap is almost identical. It's, they, they are very similar products, and as I'll go on to show, this, <laughs> this is, they are uncannily similar, and it's just surprising how similar they are. Now, I think it's a little bit like Coke versus Pepsi. I mean, what do you think, Joey? Do you think that all because Coke exists that Pepsi shouldn't? Very good point. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, 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 I kind of agree. It's like, it's, it's hard to say. Now, yeah, it's a bit annoying that like Coke, oh, it's, it tastes really good, oh, you yeah, know, it's delicious. And then Pepsi comes along now, oh, now I have a choice. Now I actually have to think when I go to the pub. But, yeah, we've got that. And now let's get into our breakdown. First up, we have the Ursa strap, and I'm going to be putting it on Joey here. And we're just gonna see how hard it is and how it feels and everything. So, how does that feel, Joey? It's got good texture on it. Like, it's, it's hard to say um, because you can feel it, but I can move. I don't think you can hear anything. It's not very visible. Feels good. Feels yep. good. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so now we have the Viviana strap, the newcomer, and we're gonna see just how well it goes on. Now, I find it's easier to put the Viviana strap in with larger transmitters like the Sennheiser G3, because they made a bit more space, but again, as I say, that makes it like a bit more worrying that it might fall out, so, you know, with every good, sometimes a bad comes. So you've got to think about it in both ways. Easy to put in, easy to fall out. Joey, top up. Okay, strap it. <laughs> strap it. There we go. How does that feel, Joey? Exactly the same. I feel like this has got a better texture than that. You think the yeah, has got think, better I, texture? I, think, I do feel like that, yeah. Just on your body? Yeah, on my stomach. So where it is but now? What about the grip on it? Do you feel grip the is less exactly grip? The same. No, grip is exactly the same. Yeah. It's a different texture. You prefer that texture? Yeah, it feels lighter somehow. I've been asked to do a water test by Viviana Straps because they say that the water doesn't permeate through to the transmitter, so I'm going to test that. And Earths will also say that this layer shouldn't go through to this layer on the behind either. So let's see what they if what they say is true. So we're gonna splash it over. Yeah, that's that why don't we do a good old splash and see what gosh, it's all over. Um okay. So this is soaking into the thing. Okay, right, that, that's not that's not going through, that's beading on the top. I don't actually see, there's a little bit going through, but the most, I'm going to pour it off. Now let's pour this one off. Um, okay, let's have a look on the back. Now there's a bit of water because it's all over the table, but it kind of feels dry on the back, the Ursa strap, but wet on the middle. It's kind of stuck on here. Now, yeah, this is kind of wet all over really now. But is the inside? The inside's a little bit wet. I don't know why they're making a big deal about it not going through. I think if, you, if it's going to get wet and sweaty, I think it, it's, I mean, it's fabric. It's, gonna go through but yeah this is this is wet all over and this is the the Ursa doesn't seem as wet I don't know why because this this feels I don't know it's hard to tell this one looks wetter than this one at least um, and what about stickiness let's try this uh, how sticky is it? Still got some grip. 
And this one. Put it towards your bit, David. Let's see if the earth still has a grip with the wet. Seems fine. Okay, in conclusion, I just kind of want to give my idea on what I've had. I've had some time now with the products. And for me, I think it's they're so, they're so similar. I mean, the quality of both, there's pros and cons on both of them, which made me think maybe in one situation I'd use one slightly differently to the other, but they're marginal things. And for me, really, in, in sound, things can go, they can break and, you know, you need to replace them in the last minute notice. And also, they already have that supply chain. So for me, personally, I know that Really, if I'm going to buy one of these, I'm probably going to be like, okay, I need to go get a load of them. So I just go to the local sound shop and I'll pick them up and they're there. But Viviana Strap, so far they're only in Italy. So maybe if you're local in Italy, that might be good. And you've got Italian customer support, that would be good. But I, I kind of find them really similar and I, I wouldn't really recommend one over the other in any particular way. Personally, I would go with the Ursa, but they're based in England, I'm in England. So maybe it's just because it's easier to kind of do business that way. Um, yeah, I find them similar. What do you think, Joey? The Viviana, is that yeah. what um, I don't know what it is, but I just feel better with it. Could be texture, could be the material, could be how it's tightened, I'm not too sure. It just feels a lot better. I mean, it's one of them things. I think there is just pros and cons with each product. And really, it's one of those things that it's, it's Coke or Pepsi. It's going to be very slight differences and things that you want from it. Hi, I've been David Mann and this is Joey and please like and share this video and remember drink Coke or Pepsi.